tutorial where we uh, changed out the readme file and used the markdown language, then uh, one thing that you may notice with your Git repository is that it actually still remembers the old readme file. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Uh, if you make sure you're in your directory and then type in git status and you'll see that we're on the branch master and the changes not staged for commit or are this deleted item, this uh, deleted readme.rdoc. If you look back up into our directory, you'll see that we replaced it and now we have a readme.md. So it's very easy to remove that. And the way you do it is you just type in git rm and then you type in the name of the file. And one thing to know, the tab uh, autocomplete will not work with this because the file doesn't exist anymore. So uh, just type in git rm readme.rdoc and it removed it. Now do git status again. And now you can see that it's actually changed to green, which means it's ready to be uh, committed. So just gonna do git add, then git commit, and we can just say something like cleaned up git repository, if I can spell it correctly. And then hit enter, and now we're just gonna do a git push. Type in our username and password. There you go. Now do get status and you're totally nice and clean. So uh, if you ever need to, if you ever delete files and you see that happen, then uh, that's a really nice easy way that you can just go delete them and so you can be working with a nice and clean directory. So uh, good job if you went through that and I will see you in the next video.